hey sorry about that um, you know Ustream software blows um, and that's why I'm going to be uh, switching over to my own brand of software that I wrote because it's even now in in just before I release it in alpha uh, it's still it's still much more reliable than what Ustream has to offer uh, and that goes to go with when you do something for profit instead of out of love that's what the shitty results that you're going to get right we're here at the offices of known corporate whore Diane Feinstein and her fucking hubby Dick Blum who's probably profiting upon uh, this war in Syria that I wouldn't I would doubt very much um, actually I know for a fact that he's probably manipulating the stock market now as we speak uh, because he makes money off of war him and Diane Feinstein both and if Diane Feinstein had an ounce of uh, respectability whatever the hell you want to call it she had an ounce of that uh, flowing through her bloodstream she would immediately recuse herself from any votes that have anything to do with the war in Syria or any kind of other Defense Department secrets uh, you know here's a woman who's supposedly the head of the US Foreign Intelligence Committee yet she had no idea that the NSA or the, the CIA were involved in 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 efforts to uh, steal the, your privacy and your data away from you right this is the kind of woman we got representing us here in the for California here in the United States Senate now uh, would you vote for somebody who has absolutely no knowledge about the NSA or anything else that's going on I say not right yeah we got the corporate security you know they're out here busy you know they're the minions of the corporations you know watching over the uh, the corporate assholes that work in this building right and if you ask him you know don't you care that you work for a bunch of corporate assholes you know, I'm pretty sure that he'll say no so these are the kind of people you know that that do the bidding of the corporate whores and the warmongers that seem to be running the world and seem to have the upper hand for now uh, according to the latest polling data about Syria uh, seven out of ten people do not favor US intervention in in Syria even though eight out of ten people believe that Assad actually committed the uh, chemical attacks now you know that that question of whether or not Assad is responsible for chemical attacks is irrelevant in the face that that you know what good is going to be what good can come out of launching cruise missiles in a country what you know how is that going to stop chemical warfare in Syria uh, the answer is it isn't um, basically uh, it's just going to allow the United States to gain another foothold in yet another country in the Middle East so they can kill and torture people just like they did in Iraq you know you see what good United States invasion of Iraq uh, has done there's more bombings and there's more death in Iraq than what there was before the United States showed up on the scene so uh, you know this is what we have to live with as American citizens and I'm gonna tell you that this American citizen Freeman Sullivan does not support his government did not vote for Obama does not vote for fucking Diane Feinstein and did not vote for the leading house cheerleader for war Nancy Pelosi right I have much more of a conscience than that and I would never vote for any of those bastards that's for damn sure I'm sorry about the salty language, but, you know, I'm damn tired of this bullshit and this fucked up society that we have to live in when most of you motherfuckers just sit on the couch and do nothing and let evil continue, right? You're off running at your stupid-ass little job, making minimum wage, you know, hoping against hope that you have money to pay your rent every month, you know, rent that's always ever going up, you know, and nothing ever prices on anything ever seems to go down. You know, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, we're down here covering, uh, there's supposed to be uh, an occupation of Diane Feinstein's offices that are happening this morning. Um, I personally don't really see that happening because uh, there's corporate security that's stationed all around the building. And if you're going to do an occupation of somebody's office, don't fucking post it on the internet, you know? At least have a public demonstration down here. You know, and I'm sorry for... Uh, getting you viewers to watch when there's nothing going on you know I'm not gonna hang out here much longer because I do have a life too and I am preparing a demonstration for next week um, I will be back here not here at this site but I'll be back on the at Ustream tonight uh, we will be uh, covering 
tonight's protest against U.S. intervention in Syria. You know, you know, watching all the little corporate slaves go into the building, you know, working at their shitty little jobs, furthering uh, the cause of oppression around the world, right? All in the name of profit. You know, because to be quite honest, I don't really think anybody that works in this building really gives a fuck. You know, they don't care about what future generations are going to say. They don't care about this country. All they care about is getting that stock dividend and making a profit, right? Because that's what it's all about in capitalism. It's not about helping people. It's not about providing quality products for people to use. It's all about the bottom line. And they really don't give a shit about what you or I and about whether the products they sell are any good or anything like that. They just want you to waste your money on their shit. And, uh, and that's that, with no accountability whatsoever. So that's capitalism for you. Right, for a corporation, McKesson, which is known to have made chemical weapons in the past, right, and that's where Diane finds us. Yeah, look at me, baldy motherfucker. Right, let's talk about your corporation. What's going on with McKesson today, right? More death and destruction, right? You narcissistic bastard, right? Right. I'll get off your fucking property, right? Yeah. I'm backing up yeah. right now. What's your name anyway, Smiley? Smiley. Right. Get off our you know. property line. Yeah, where's your property line? Why don't you show it to me, pal? Put it on the camera. Right. So why you yeah, I'll it. show it. Right. Yeah. What's your name anyway? What's your name, Yeah, sir? my name's Clark Sullivan. What's yours? Don't need to right. Yeah, because you're a fucking asshole, aren't you? I bet so. Right. Why don't you call the cops, pal? Just get off my right. property Right here. I'm going to sit right here, right? You got another right. property line. Yeah, yeah, your property yeah. line is up your ass. What are you going to do? Push me out of the way? Uh, right. Do you want to assault me? Right? Hey, no, like go fuck practice. yourself, won't you? Uh, right? Hey, in a minute, you fucking gonna... Oriole. In a minute, you're going to do what? Call the cops? What'd you say? Right? In a minute, you're going to call the cops? Exactly. Right? Hey, right? Like you know, I said. Fuck you. You're just a corporate whore just like the rest of them. Hey, right? Yeah, my mother's dead, you fucking flunky. Oh, sorry to hear that. Yeah, you flunky motherfucker. Right? Why don't you get a better job? Hey, right? You can't even tell the public what your name is. You corporate flunky. There you go. That's the kind of bullshit we have to deal with in American society, right? Yeah, hats off to you, narcissist. Get a real job. Right? I should put out my press pass. Right? This is the kind of bullshit that people in America have to deal with, right? You know, when you start asking hard questions about what corporations are doing to help society, that's the answer that you get, right? You get insulted, you get pushed around, you get threatened with arrest, right? They act like they own everything in this goddamn city, right? They feel entitled. That's all they do is entitled, feel like they're entitled to people, right? You know, and he's too much of a coward to push me out of the way, right? bunch of cowardly bastards that work inside of this building and you saw it here first right this is what's going on with America this is a problem with America right there's no corporate accountability right these corporations sit out here and they make record profits year after year and they're not even fucking accountable to their own stockholders right so if you want to invest money don't invest it in a McKesson you want a good investment invest in a country like Iceland and their corporate servers because they do have accountability right the country of Iceland does have accountability but not here in the United States right all these corporate whores the only thing they're interested in is their own profit and about keeping their stupid little slave job so they could fuck you out of your taxes and out of your money yeah he didn't like it when I called him an Oreo that's exactly what he fucking is Right. Just another minion for the